One of our neighbours is filling in um, a former tip on a section of his land and he noticed that there was some currants and very kindly asked us if we wanted to come and help ourselves to these currant bushes. Bushes. Wow. It's, I mean, you know, the trees. I mean, most of them are a bit smaller, but hang on, look at this one. It's just, you know, that's a very good sized bush. Now, it's just a couple of fields over that these have come from. So there's a couple of possibilities. One, there's someone who actually grows currants nearby and it's possible that it's uh, birds that, you know, taken one and then dropped the seed or dropped it out the back end and it's grown into a bush. Or maybe it was, uh, you know, just a branch that was thrown away that rooted or whatever. But it looked like a whole cluster of different ones, but actually what it was, a single tree had come up, a single, you know, well, a bush had come up, and then more rubbish had been put on top of it and put various branches down, and then, uh, you know, like in some places, sheets of tin on top of it even. So then, the, you know, the end of it's rooted and, you know, put its own plant up, and then, you know, bits of that have been pinned down and they've rooted and put their own shoots up. So all this was all interconnected, a single plant. It was huge. It was over, you know, a good few uh, metres, but, you know, it was at the bottom of a ditch. Um, and yeah, you can tell it's quite windy. I wasn't going to film it, but I mean, this is, yeah, a huge asset. So the only problem we've got is even though, um, yeah, so, uh, if we just plant these straight back into the ground now, they're going to really struggle. I mean, you can see that that's, you know, that's a full sale, you know, that's going to nuts. And this, for example, because they kept, you know, going through and around rubbish and things, trying to get to the light, we've got things like that where it's actually you know got a nice little handle you know that's useful but um it's just you know that isn't going to last long in 40 50 mile an hour winds so what we'll do here for example is we'll plant it probably up to about there we leave about this much above ground and we'll just cut it off there and use the rest of it as cuttings but i mean what cuttings material i mean seriously you know, we're talking about stuff that's as thick as, well, well, thick in my fingers. You know, it's huge. So it's going to give us a lot of cuttings. It's going to give us a lot of really good, strong plants. But, uh, yeah, because it's an unknown cultivar, oh, and also in places, it had done, that was literally just a branch that was pinned to the ground. And because it was an old tip, there was all sorts of organic matter. And that's actually just rooted along the branch. I mean, look at the roots on it. They're brilliant. So in this particular case, we'll just put a spade in, shove that down into the ground and let it grow into two bushes. But, you know, it's just a huge amount of material. Uh, but it's an unknown cultivar. We don't know exactly, we think it's blackcurrant, but we don't know how good it's going to be even. So I wouldn't put this into like uh, um, one of our higher value food forests, you know, not until we know what the characteristics of it are. So we've got enough of it that we're gonna put it out here into the shelter belt. And in a lot of cases, I mean, this will eventually be an understory tree, but at the minute it's going uh, understory shrub coming up to about a meter and a half or so. Uh, but as you know, as things are, this is very quickly going to be the overstory for the overstory trees, like a nurse crop almost. So I'm not going to film too much while we're doing it in because I mean, yeah, it's a huge amount. We've got um, a couple of sections that are just let's see, like this, and then this is basically just a branch that was growing underneath the section of tin. And that bit there uh, was butting up against it. It had grown through uh, wire mesh. So, you know, we couldn't do anything. We had to just break it off uh, and it had already come off the other end. But, you know, cuttings take really readily. I dread to think how fast this is gonna take. So we'll, you know, again, we'll lop that in half and put two really big cuttings in. Um, but there's one or two sections that are almost more root-like. They are, they're very, can't exactly find one just now but there's one or two anyway and what we'll probably do with them is just bury them and see if anything comes up and then we've got one or two things that well one or two we've got loads that are just lovely little plants they're good to go um so yeah we're gonna put in a little current forest it's the day after i planted 
the currants um, uh, because by the time I finished uh, planting them last night the winds were so high that no matter how careful I was with the mic it was getting clipped all the time it was just too much wind noise and yeah that's not nice to listen to anyway so yeah uh, I'm filming this today instead now <laughs> they've all gone in the ground um, most of them well, I'd say about half of them uh, are on their own roots and half of them are just cuttings that have been shoved in. Uh, I'm at the top end of the system here, at the top end of the field. And this is where we want them, the, the fastest shelter belt uh, effect. So up here, I've tended to go for um, ones that are on their roots and then further down, we've gone just for cuttings. But I'll just show you just how many of these things there are. So this one here is on roots and that is what, a good three foot tall. This one is a cutting, that one. This one's on roots. That's got roots. This one here has got roots. I mean, seriously, that's four foot high. You know, it's, it's a full-sized shrub. Um, that one is actually just a section of branch. That's probably... No, actually, no, that one's got roots on the bottom. That one. Um, as does that one. That's got roots, that's got roots, that has, that one down in there is a little cluster of cuttings, and then we're back on to, I mean, you know, that's a four foot high one, all of these are on their own roots, I mean, this is incredibly healthy, um, yeah, I mean, that's, what, five foot high, you know, it's huge, still really nice growing tips on them, uh, that's a cutting, this is another, what, four foot? I mean, yeah, they're just huge. And there's so many of them. There's this one, this one, this one. I mean, you know, that's a pretty big plant. There's a smaller one down there and there. I mean, look at this. That's a, you know, that's got roots on. And it's a multi-stem shrub that's a good five foot high. Uh, really cool. I mean, these are going to create a huge amount of wind protection. There's another one and nope not that one uh, we're to here then it's that one uh, there's this one here there's just so many of them there and there and there and these these are pretty substantial ones but they're uh, because of the, the stems were so long that we had to, you know, lop them off at this height and they've gone for cuttings. But that is, you know, a pretty substantial root ball. All of these have got like, you know, one to two foot of, you know, pretty substantial root development. But it's just the sheer volume of all these things. All the way down through the whole system. There's just dozens and dozens of these currents. Where are we? See, little ones like that, they tend to be cuttings. So there's a lot of them just being shoved in. So I'm not even spotting half of them, I'm sure. There we go, that's another substantial one. Good sized bush, another one. There's another one there. That is another, um, uh, you know, another branch that's been with a root ball at the bottom that's been put in. There's another bush. And then here we get to the very big ones. You know, these are, you know, the parent plant that was right at the bottom of the, of the whole system, right at the centre of the whole cluster. Um, and these, as I say, they're perfectly good three, four foot bushes. But these are going to really explode with growth as soon as things get going in the spring. And we're just about to start now. So there's another one. And yeah, so you get the idea. And that carries on all the way down to the bottom of that field, right through this run. Every what, four to seven, eight feet, maybe 10 feet in places, we've got really substantial current. And it, yeah, <laughs> there's no wrong answer here. You know, I mean, even if these aren't the best tasting cultivar in the world, it still gives us a really good pioneer nurse crop while everything else comes up behind it. Um, it's probably perfectly good. Um, you know, I don't think I've ever had a black current I didn't like. Um, so it should be interesting uh, to see what they all happen. Now one issue is of course that all of these because they're as far as I can tell all clones of the same plant that's just been divided into a huge clump so they're all genetically identical which gives us very little variation uh, within this type of you know within this this planting but 
behind it, there's, I don't know, must be seven, eight, nine maybe different um, other cultivars of uh, currants that are inter interwoven through the whole of this shelter belt. They're just maybe a foot high, you know, they're still quite small, whereas these are huge, you're not going to miss them. So if they aren't any good, um, or if a disease comes through and takes them out, it's really not catastrophic. You know, they are just uh, potentially there just as a nurse crop, and it's really not a massive deal. But in the meantime, there's every chance that we're going to have, I mean, kilos and kilos of, uh, of black currants. It's just ridiculous numbers. And this course is on, this is just the shelter belt plantings. We've got, I don't know how many black currant cultivar, well, uh, black currant plants. We've got, I think, three cultivars so far uh, on site in the actual food forest plantings and, you know, in the, you know, the other systems that have been, you know, planted. This is just overspilled plants and things like this that we receive, uh, that people kindly give us. That yeah, <laughs> there's still huge numbers of them. So yeah, that is very cool. Incredibly happy. I can't really believe how far they've gone. I mean, it must be, well, I should have counted, but it's well over a hundred. You can see that one there, it's actually starting to bud out. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they do. So anyway, there we go.